very good evening students today we will discuss about the closo nido arcano hypo and conjunctive borings so these are the five types of borings on the basis of their structures the first one is closo structure and if we see the structure of closo borin then all the corners of a polyhedra are occupied by boron atoms and in closure structure the general formula is vn h n plus 2 or we can write it as vn hn 2 minus so this is the general formula for the closure structure in which all the corners of a polyhedra are occupied by boron atoms in nido structure one of the bond is missing, missing from the polyhedra and in this structure or in case of nido structure general formula is vn hn plus 4 or vn hn 4 minus so this is the nido structure in which one one vertex is missing now we move toward arcano structure here two vertex or the two of the corners where boron atoms are present are missing it means there are two vertex are missing in arcano structure and in this structure the general formula is vn h n plus 6 or we can write it as vn h n 6 minus this is a general formula for the arcano structure next type is next type is hypoborin hypoborins so in this case three vertex are missing Three vertex are missing from the closed polyhedra, and and this type of borin general formula is V n H n plus eight or V n H n eight minus. And the last one is. This is fourth type, hypoborin, and fifth one is conjunctive borins. Conjunctive borins, and these type of borins are generally formed from any two type of borin, whether it is closo or nido, or nido structure or arcano. These are these type of borins are formed from. any two type of any two types of borings so these are the five type of borings next step is how to determine the structure of these borings means if you have the formula of given borings and we have to find out the structure of borines then they can be determined with the help of wade's mingo's rule wade's mingo's rule and also write it as polyhedral skeletal electron theory 
according to Bates Minger rules, which involve three steps. In the first step, we have to find out the skeletal electron in the given molecule. in which each VH unit will contribute, each BH unit will contribute two electrons. Each CH unit, if carbon atom is present in the polyhedra at any corner, then it will contribute three electrons. In addition to that, if additional hydrogen is present, if additional hydrogens are present, then each hydrogen will contribute one electron. And in the last anionic charge if present on the cluster. Anionic charge if present in the cluster or in the given molecule, then it can be added. Then it can be added. we can write it as skeletal electron count which is equal to the contribution of each BH unit is 2 and the formula is 2 VH means contribution of BH unit plus three electron which are contributed by each CH unit plus one which is for additional hydrogen and a anionic charge on the cluster. So this is the first step. We have to find out the skeletal electron count in the given molecule. In the second step, we have to find out the number of electron pairs. Number of electron pairs. And they can be calculated by dividing skeletal electron count by 2. And these are, and these are the, then you will get the number of electron pairs. Number of electron pairs. The third step, number of vertex, which is equal to number of boron and carbon atoms. And this value is denoted by N. The next example. We have V6 H10. So in this case, there are six VH units. If there are six VH units, then there is a presence of four additional hydrogens. Then six into two means each VH unit will contribute two electron and there is one electron contribution by each hydrogen then you will get 16 electron so this is the first step means skeletal electron count in the given formula or the given borings second step is we have to find out the number of electron pair Then 16 divided by 2. 
you will get the eight electron pairs. Eight electron pairs. Third step is the value of n, which is equal to six, means six boron atoms. And how much we can add, then we will get the value equal to eight electron pair. Then we have to add six six plus two then this is equal to eight electron pair and when we add n plus two it will give needle structure and in needle structure means one vertex is missing in the earlier example v7 h7 2 minus that is having closure structure means all the vertex are occupied means all the vertex are or all the corners are occupied by boron atoms So this is the this is the example of needle structure. Next example is V five H eleven. Now we have to find out the skeletal electron in the given formula. Each boron is having only one. Hydrogen. Then we have five boron atom and five hydrogen atom plus additional six hydrogen in the given molecule. And each BH unit will contribute two electron. Then five into two plus six into hydrogen contribution is one electron. Then we will get sixteen electron in the given formula. Second step is number of electron pair in the given molecule. We can calculate by dividing the skeletal electron count by two. Means eight electron pairs. Third step is the value of n, means the number of boron atoms, which is equal to five. Now, how many five may we add? Then we will get the value equal to. Eight electron pair. Then we have to add. Then we have to add three. And when we add three in the value of n, then we will get the organo structure. So in this way, we can calculate the type of structural borings. So basically, during the determination of structural borine, we have to remember few things for closo, nido, arcano, and hypostructure. First thing is. Each BH unit will give two skeletal bonding electrons, or each BH unit will contribute two electron. Second thing is each CH unit, if it is present in the given molecule, then it will contribute three electrons. 
in addition to that we can replace carbon silicon germanium tin with vh unit means we can replace one carbon with one bh unit or silicon germanium and tin similarly if there is a presence of nitrogen phosphorus arsenic then we can write it as vh2 means each nitrogen can be replaced by one bh2 unit similarly sulfur selenium can be replaced with vh3 unit during counting the skeletal electron during counting so aaj ke liye itna hi thank you